Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 versus the Samsung Galaxy A8. So, so yeah, the Note 5 is on the left and the Galaxy A8 is on the right. So both are uh, very, very similar in terms of looks, uh, but of course when you, when you actually look at both the devices at different angle, uh, you're going to see that there is a lot of difference. So um, the A8 is the best of the A-series. It seems like that it is a uh, fatter version or you can say a little bit more wider version of Galaxy A7. It's a pure aluminum um, and uh, there's no gloss or anything like that. And of course the Note 5 also has this gloss and uh, aluminum uh, combination. A really 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 premium device Note 5 and to be honest Note 5 looks more uh, premium than the uh, Samsung Galaxy A8 uh, it's also premium but definitely the Note 5 has this uh, gloss which makes it a little bit more premium and uh, uh, but then again if you compare it side by side the A8 is also uh, the slimmest one um, which is almost like 6.9 millimeter uh, and which is way more slimmer than the Galaxy Note uh, 5 here and of course, uh, design-wise, uh, you're gonna be satisfied with both of these two phones. Uh, but of course, uh, this one is way thinner and lighter as compared to the Note 5. And then also, um, uh, if we compare the size, uh, we got a 5.7-inch screen size on both phones. Uh, this one has 1080p HD screen, a uh, very nice screen, very awesome screen. Uh, really good for its processor, which is the Exynos 5 Octa chipset. Uh, I know there is a 615 Snapdragon variant also out there, but I basically got the Exynos version. Um, so yeah, this is the Exynos version and I think the Exynos 5 Octa is good for handling the 1080p screen uh, and also it's a 5.7 inch size, that's also one thing to say. And of course on the other hand the Galaxy Note uh, 5 also has a 5.7 inch Quad HD screen, almost, almost double the resolution. Uh, of the A8 on the Galaxy Note 5 and of course that's that's a really nice screen I'm just gonna take a, a closer look here you can see very nice quality so uh, of course uh, the performance if we take a look at the uh, internals the Galaxy Note 5 comes with a Exynos 7420 octa-core chipset and this one comes with Exynos 5420 octa-core chipset so there's like a big difference in performance of course this is the same processor that we actually get inside of the um, the Galaxy S5's octa-core version uh, or you should say, say the Note 4's uh, no not the Note 4 yeah the Galaxy S5's octa-core version so it's like 5422 um, but definitely it is a lost generation chipset and um, and it's not gonna be that much powerful as this uh, this this one, it's Exynos 7420. Uh, but but definitely, uh, I don't really consider benchmarks as the main thing in terms of the real life performance. Both will perform really really fast. You're not gonna notice any lag or anything uh, stupid on both of these two phones. Uh, by the way, I've also done a full speed test. You can also check that out on my channel. Now, uh, software is very similar. Both comes with Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. You can see you got this theme option to add and all that. So software is very similar. No difference with this new touch uh, tweaks here and there. Uh, this one is having a fingerprint sensor uh, just like the Galaxy Note 5 has. And then also uh, there is no um, uh, thing like S Pen connectivity that, that makes the Note series very unique, which is the S Pen here that we have. It quickly opens up the air command where you can test out different stuff like, uh, let's see, uh, screen write. It's going to uh, take a, a screenshot instantly and you can just uh, click on the pen and select your pen and its size and just you can just start, you know, messing around. And that's the, one of the best things here that we have. Uh, just like that, we got a couple of new features, and this is like a new type of S Pen, which has like this button, which is an annoying thing, but of course, it's fun. So, uh, the Note 5 has this S Pen or style, whatever you want to call it, and it is definitely worth it because it will allow you to do a lot of stuff and, um, you know, it's just create a whole new uh, level of device usage. So, definitely, S Pen is a really nice thing. 
and then of course if we talk about uh, the uh, camera both have 16 megapixel camera on the back uh, of course you can see that we got also got the heart rate sensor on the Note 5 and this one has like single LED flash and the speaker um, and that is also one thing to consider but this one also comes with the dual sim card slot uh, which is also nice uh, but I don't really use the dual sim cards uh, most people do use so definitely it will be a good choice to buy a 5.7 inch screen size phone with a dual sim sport uh, but then again note 5 dual sim version is also coming out that's also one thing so uh, if we talk about the battery we got like 3000 million bar battery on the note 5 versus 3050 million bar battery on the galaxy a8 uh, so far i'm really satisfied with the performance of battery on both phones uh, and they really have stable battery uh, and they should last about like one day plus on normal usage with Wi-Fi and a little bit Facebook and all that uh, but um, yeah that's a nice thing and let's just quickly check out the camera application so 16 megapixel camera is on the back on of the uh, both phones and uh, the thing is that the uh, the 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 Galaxy A8 uh, doesn't have the 4k recording uh, I think the Snapdragon variant has uh, I'm not sure but the Exynos variant also uh, uh, only only had this uh, 1080p HD recording limit we can't record 4k video while on the Galaxy Note 4 you can go all the way up to Ultra HD uh, to full HD 60 FPS we got ton of different modes here of video recording and also comes with video stabilization and uh, we don't get the video stabilization on the, on the Galaxy A8 which means th that the Galaxy A8 has that same camera module as the Galaxy S6 maybe um, you know a little bit down clocked uh, you can say uh, it has that same quick launch feature also which is really nice uh, but of course the camera is not that uh, that much at the same level of uh, uh, that is of uh, that is that's what we have on the Note 5. I will do a separate camera test. We'll see in more detail. So you can see that uh, if we click on the settings, uh, and then of course you can check out different modes. You can see uh, very similar stuff here. Uh, we can also check out modes here. The Galaxy Note 5 also has this video collage, and of course live live broadcast, which are the two new additions here. Uh, live broadcast which is a uh, live uh, video making and then of course video collage you can make uh, you know just like a collage of photos you can make a collage of videos so uh, you can just quickly record video capture photos uh, capture photos while recording the video everything works really flawlessly fine on both of these two phones now um, I have talked about all the stuff here on both of these two phones. Now I want to give you some real clear thought. So, uh, if you want to buy a phone that has 5.7 inch screen size, that is slimmer, that is premium, that has dual SIM capabilities, and that is not also that much expensive and good in terms of performance, then definitely this one is a good, good choice. But if you want to spend on the Note 5, the, the daddy of uh, all Samsung phones, if you want to uh, have this and this gold look, this glass and metal combination, this new design, the heart rate sensor, uh, the better touch with uh, UI features here, a little bit better icons, of course, and a, a little bit better S Pen connectivity than the before. Of course, if you want the S Pen, and then also if you want uh, a um, better processor, better GPU, and a better camera that can record 4K video as well as 1080p 60fps, then definitely, definitely Note 5 is a good choice. Uh, but but you, if you are just looking for 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 just office use, or you are just thinking about just spending you know more money on it on it on an awesome Samsung phone that has big screen, uh, and of course if you're just gonna use Facebook and WhatsApp, and you're not gonna do that much of performance thing, then this one might be a good choice after all. Uh, so. Uh, definitely it's a hard choice here uh, this one will cost you around $540 and this one will cost you around $800 plus dollars that is also a very important thing to know uh, that, that that's the price and uh, and of course for the Note 5 if you pay a lot of money you will definitely going to get uh, a, a good feature like S Pen which is uh, you know really worth the money uh, but if you don't want the S Pen then this might be a substitute for the Note 5 and uh, and also slimmer it's really nice 
and I really do enjoy its design. So that's it, guys. It's just uh, up to you, up to your personal preference. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my uh, next video where I'll do the speed test, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.